Hello everyone, this will be an unboxing from a uh, company known as Retromoditing. They're based in Canada. This is the housing with all the buttons and stuff needed to rebuild my Game Boy Advance. I noticed several issues with certain buttons not pressing correctly because the pads are damaged. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Comes in a nice cardboard box, not damaged like some stuff I get. So inside is the invoice, as you can see it's got my company name, <laughs> Eternals Information Technology Group, <laughs> um, show you what all I ordered. I had ordered the AGS, not the AGS, the A, uh, case, the AGB001 case trim for the AGS101 LCD screen. Uh, as well as the Game Boy Advance buttons, video game, well, I got that. Nice. Uh, video game save battery, Game Boy Advance start select silicon pads, all the pads. Uh, new glass screen lens, because I don't want to try to pull the old one off. And then the actual shell, which is the same color, purple, also known as indigo. This all together ran me $45. Uh, oh, well that's nice. They have a wrapped up in some kind of like paper towel monogram paper towel might keep that as you can see they're each individually wrapped I went with black buttons this time as well as all the silicon pads needed to replace what was in there this is so that I can uh, fix my Pokemon Sapphire charging issue not charging but battery issue the battery is fully dead and it's starting to corrode. I thought I'd go ahead and order this since they had it on the site. And here is the AGB001 shell that is designed and modded, well pre-modded, to accept an AGS101 screen. They actually did it in such a way, better than even I can do, which I will admit, uh, that the screen will sit perfectly in here and because they left some of the tabs on here for me thank you retro modding uh, that's funny that um the screen won't move like mine currently does uh, also comes sorry about that y'all my battery died make sure I'm recording and I am back to what I was saying this has been already pre-modded uh, I was already there they included this which is plastic I don't care for the plastic one. No offense to retro modding. No offense to anyone, really. Plastic was cheap back when it was first introduced on the game consoles. But it scratches way too easily, in my opinion. Easy to replace, but too damageable. Or whatever you want to call it. Therefore, I ordered a custom... Well, not custom, because they mass produce them now. But an actual glass screen to go right here. And it's got a nice holograph to it. Hologram, yeah. Anyways, see what's in here. And that's it. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's unboxing video of all the equipment I'm going to be using to rebuild my Game Boy Advance. By the way, like I said, my battery died and that's why this is sitting here. I will see y'all later. You'll most likely see me burn my hands later on a... Uh, my soldering gun again.